What's up guys, it's Troy. I am here with a product review video for the one and only Head Tennis Rackets. Um, so they blacked them out. I don't know what racket it is, but I tested it out. Uh, I played awesome with it, by the way. I got two of them to test out. Um, so I'm gonna give you my uh, opinion of what these rackets are and how they played and what I liked about them, what I maybe didn't like about them. Um, yes, Head did send me some free rackets, but they are not paying me. So I'm gonna be honest with my answer. Boom. Oh yeah. Look at this, look at this awesome frame. But first, I'm gonna have a little surprise for you guys at the end, or I can just tell you now, I'm going to be giving away a free head tour team bag, six racket bag. Um, if you subscribe and let me know that you have subscribed in the comments, well, then that's how you get a chance to win this awesome new bag. Well, we're gonna have to get them strung first, it looks like. It looks like we got some string attached here. Some head string. All right, that was pretty good. Oh. Okay, so let's get started on my humble opinion of these head rackets. So, they're blacked out, I don't know what they are. Uh, I have an MP and an S on the racket. Um, I'm 97% sure they're the same racket, just one is uh, a little bigger head size, one is a little bigger grip size. I have a four and a quarter and four and three eighths. Um, that means that one is a little smaller grip, four and a quarter is a smaller grip. That's what I like to play with. Uh, usually I got small hands, so I like a smaller grip. Uh, plus I've always had elbow issues, so having a smaller grip, I don't have to squeeze so hard with those fat grips. Like in the 1980s when they used wooden rackets and they had just grips that like you could barely hold. Um, that's how you get shoulder and elbow issues. So that is one thing that I liked about this racket was how soft it felt. My arm felt great after uh, hitting on it. I used a ball machine and so you know after an hour of just ball machine, your arm gets a little tired. Um, so pleased with how my arm felt. Overall, it's a great start to the racket. Uh, it had some nice sweet spot hits. Uh, it even says on here, massive sweet spot dominates the game. Uh, especially on my backhand, I was able to drive through it. I like the grip size, it fits in my hands well. Um, my backhand felt clean and pure. Um, I'm not a big top speed guy on my backhand, it's definitely a drive through the ball. Uh, can be an attacking shot for me. The forehand was definitely, I, my, <laughs> so my forehand, I hit a lot of shenanigans on the ball, so it's a very junky kind of ball. I can flatten it out when I want to, um, but because I do think this is a very sweet spot oriented racket, that when I'm not in the sweet spot, it didn't give me as great of a ball as like, let's say, the Pure Drive, or I think it's the Aerostorm of the Babolat, uh, the Nadal racket, that you could hit the frame and it hits a winner for you. I would also string this looser if I had my way, which <laughs> I did string it, so I could change that. Um, I also like to play with a little heavier racket, so, I would put some lead tape uh, around the head frame, which would give it a little more power and pop. Uh, head, I definitely think, has a reputation of being a good, solid control racket. Um, so I definitely felt like I was making a lot of balls. Um, didn't necessarily get all the pop that uh, I am A, accustomed to with my heavier racket. I usually play with like a 13.7, close to 14 ounce racket, um, which is pretty heavy because it's got a bunch of tape everywhere on it. But uh, this is probably around like 11.3 ish. Maybe that might even be on the heavy side, which probably is why my arm feels great because it's so light. So I took some serves with the racket, and I definitely felt like my ball was going in. When I hit the sweet spot, it had uh, some decent pop to it. Um, definitely not my fastest serves in the world. I will say, when I was hitting my kick serves, it had some nice bite to it. It was gripping that serve and it was kicking high up. I uh, felt like I would never double fall ever again in my life, which. <laughs> Can you imagine how life-changing that would be? I went up to the net to stick some volleys and definitely had some solid clean volleys. When I tried to get cute with it, which not really my game or my expertise, but again, when you get cute with it, you kind of don't exactly hit the sweet spot all the time perfectly. And so I just couldn't quite figure it out because it's new strengths, it's a new racket. Um, it was a little tougher for me, um, but just when I didn't hit the sweet spot, it didn't listen to me exactly, but 
not all, not all rockets do, so don't blame Head for that one. Um, I blame myself for not hitting the sweet spot. So, so I like it, and the all black is, is a pretty sick look, not gonna lie. Um, don't know what rocket it is. Um, I could take some guesses. I think it's the speed. Um, I don't think it's the radical, um, but we'll find out uh, later on. Um, so yeah, I'd say, I'd say overall I am a fan of the racket. Um, I might even string a little looser, put some uh, to lead tape on there to give it some more pop because uh, it's, got, it's got good control and um, I liked it both on the forehand side and backhand side. Uh, the sweet spot is sweet. Uh, the sweet spot, the not sweet spot is not so sweet, but hey, hit it in the sweet spot, it's that simple. Um, but yeah, had good control on serves, uh, volleys, I was able to stick some good volleys, so yeah, overall I, I like the racket and definitely would consider using it. Once you've subscribed, make sure you comment below so that I can send you this awesome bag if you are selected. Uh, be on the lookout for some more sports product review videos. Uh, got some awesome equipment in store. I have some tennis shoes, I have some golf clubs, uh, I have some, some uh, beach game sets. Uh, so a lot, a lot of stuff is coming and I'm excited for you guys to win this awesome bag and make sure to go check out those head tennis rackets and see what is in store next.